I recently acquired a Mattel Intellivision. I don't really collect this generation, but this was a lucky find at a thrift store in Houston. It is not too bad. I haven't tested it yet. I'm gonna open it and clean it and get those 40 plus years out of it. It came with quite a number of games. And look how cool they are. Everything needs to be sanitized and clean, but some of the boxes are in really good shape. Some other boxes are less appealing. But here we have the original start of the show. You see, this is in horrible condition. It feel, smell and look awful. In today's video, I'm gonna restore it to its original glory or close enough. Stay with me. Today I'm gonna do four things. Clean it, iron it, repair it, and I'll do some touch-up to cover these and possibly match the color. I truly have nothing to lose here, so let's get to it. Now I've sanitized it, I've opened it, flat it. It's ready for ironing. Oh, I almost forgot. While I was doing the box, why not trying also on one of those games? Tron Deadly Disc. Like the big box, I've opened it, I've cleaned it, and I will iron it. So how do you iron a box? I had to look for it, obviously. They say to use parchment paper, or like we call it in Italy, Carta da forno. Definitely not perfect, but looking already much better that when we started. Now let's do the tiny red box. I'm really using a regular vinyl glue. Just make sure you wipe the excess out. So this is day two of repair. I've let it dry overnight and I've addressed most of the big flaking. Still have to do some better detailed job. But one thing that I still have to address is this. I'm happy that YouTube does not allow the smell to come through because this black mold really smells bad. So my best friend in this case is vinegar. I will dump a cloth and go over it, soak it a little bit and let it dry under the Texas sun. At least I will replace the smell of mold with the smell of vinegar. Oh, and I'm also removing this glue residual because even if it flakes out a bit, I don't care because I'm gonna reinforce the internal part of the box anyway. And if you guys think I am making it worse, leave me a comment, let me know. At the end of the day in life, you don't learn anything until you try. And this is my first time doing anything like this. And if I go 
much more in depth with this mold. I will flake off this entire image, which I don't want to do. Here I'm fine because these are the parts that go with the glue. Now it's time to put it under the Texas sun and see if I can get some of the sogginess out of the way. Despite some good ironing, the closing elements of the box are still very weak. But I found that adding cardboard tape, it stays in the inside, you can't see it, it blends in and it reinforces it enough to maintain the shape. I'm gonna do this side now and then I'll work on that guy. You don't really need to be very precise because I'm not. You just put a big piece here and then you cut the excess on the other side. Now with the same principle as we applied here to reinforce this box, we're going to reinforce the entire internal surface of the big Intellivision box using this cardboard tape. And it's made of paper so it's going to blend in very nicely and we can't, we will barely see it at the end. And this is the final result. Now, was this a good idea? Frankly, I don't know. But it looks like it helps to keep it in shape in a much better way. And it's in the inside, so at least I've covered the mold. I have killed it with vinegar. And I've sealed the mold. Sealed the mold for the win. Now it's the fun time. We are going to glue the box and put it in shape. And to do so, I chose to use, well, I could have used many, many things, but Gorilla Glue Super Glue Gel. We're gonna, here, put some drops and it's gonna dry out very quickly. give it a good press from the inside and it's gonna hold forever and ever and ever and ever. Well it requires patience and precision, two characteristics that I don't have, that's why the love of my life is here with me helping with this. Last but not least we are gluing the bottom of the box. Now, it doesn't look new, I will not fool myself, but it is reinforced, it stays in shape. So, we are finally back in the studio, and I want to show you the result of fixing this box and reinforcing it as I showed you before. Now it stays together in a much better way. I've fixed this crack with some paper tape. Now it's time to do some touch-up. The idea is to use a color that is as close as possible, possibly on the lighter side of this, and I'm gonna try to cover here. This type of carton box, perhaps because of its age, works like a sponge. So when I will actually put the color, you're gonna see it very visible. But then I let it dry probably overnight and believe me, the result is gonna be, I don't wanna use the word good, but at least very acceptable. I'm using a permanent marker and this is a water color. As soon as you 
touch this with your marker look look how massive is the absorption so the idea is to really go very gentle and not overdo it this is gonna look bad now but overnight the carton box is gonna absorb all this and it's gonna look good plus can't make it any worse Why not? Complete different story is this bad boy, which is the main character of this show. So the box looks much better than before. It's sanitized, it's repaired. It has been reinforced in the inside, as you can see. It stays in shape much better, if you remember where we started. And now in the attack, attempt to cover some of these scuffs without exaggerating with the color. I will use the same principle, but I don't quite have the exact color to match. So it's gonna be a mix of these and I'll hope for the best. At the end of the day, this is not something that I'm doing to make it much more worth or to sell it or making more money. I just wanted to preserve the box. So whatever I do to the box, it's my box and that's it. This carton box is even worse than the game box. And even if covering a dark color is easier, but as soon as you touch with your pen this, look how dramatic is the absorption. As soon as you touch, and it might require different layers to get to a darker color without going too dark, but that's the point, right? I finished the touch up on the big box and I'm letting this dry very nicely. So let's give it some time. And obviously when you go very, very close, you will notice this sponge type of absorption. But when it's on display and you look at it, it really looks like it has been somehow restored. I will never be able to cover all of the scuffs, this, the, the picture has been flaked, let alone in the back, in this corner, but it's the sign of time, so I don't want to get rid of it, and frankly, I think I'm going to ruin it if I go any further. So, let's give it some time, and let's see tomorrow. So guys, one full day later, I can say this project has come to an end. My touch-up looks fairly good, at least for my standard. It has blended in, it has been absorbed by the cardboard. We are ready to reassemble Tron deadly discs with his nice manual and the glorious overlay for the controller. This idea was really, really cool. And as far as the big box is concerned, you see my touch-up is visible. It's not too bad. It has blended in nicely. Could be worse, could be better. Definitely we started from quite a difficult one. 
there's nothing much I can do here. But as I said, I want to keep some of the vintage, even more than vintage, twice vintage look. If you liked what you saw today, hit that subscribe button. And as I say in my Italian videos, continuiamo a crescere senza mai diventare grandi. Keep growing, but never grow old. Until the next one.